G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Twilight today and I'm going in very, very questionable. I've been so curious about this movie for so long. I've seen so many memes about it. I've seen jokes about the acting in it. Like there's this one I always see where like the female character has like a tomato sauce bottle and she's like going like this with it. So I'm like... I need to put all of these jokes that I've seen growing up into context. I need to know why they're in this movie. I, I don't know what to think, honestly. I'm going to take it very seriously as I watch it. I'm going to really try to immerse myself in the story. Uh, yeah, but just a quick reminder, I have these full length reactions on my Patreon. So if you want to watch all of those just unhinged moments, <laughs> just go on and join there. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. I'd never given much thought to how I would die. Whoa. Dying in the place of someone I love seems like a good way to go. Uh. <laughs> Bye! That was a person. <laughs> I can't bring myself to regret the decision to leave home. I would miss Phoenix. I'd miss the heat. This will be a good thing. I wonder how hot Phoenix gets compared to Australia, like in the summer. Under near constant cover of clouds and rain. Population 3,120 people. Eh. My dad's Charlie. He's the chief of police. That looks very cozy. Your hair's longer. Cut it since the last time I saw you. Yes, it grew out again. <laughs> that's small talk. <laughs> so awkward, I love it. It's like, yeah, that's what hair does. <laughs> uh, that's when you leave. Goodness me. It seems like they're too similar. Bella, you remember Billy Black. Yeah. Wait, hey, look is that Taylor Lautner? <laughs> What's with the long hair? Charlie here hasn't shut up about it since you told him you were coming. All right, keep exaggerating. I'll roll Dude, you. Dude, I can't. <laughs> we used to make mud pies when we were little. Right, no, I remember. Your homecoming present. This? Just bought it off Billy here. Aww. This is perfect. Are you joking? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Do you want to ride to school or something? Oh, I got a school on reservation. It's too bad it would have been nice to know one person. Oh. Yeah, I hate that going into a new environment. You don't know anyone. Goodness me. Someone who lives in Phoenix, she's very pale. <laughs> Anything any? Tour guide, lunch date, shoulder cry on. Oh. I'm really kind of the more sufferer in silence type. Your news, baby, front page. Please don't have whoa, any sort of chillax. I love the language already. Chillax. <laughs> uh, she's got a great spike, huh? <laughs> Anna? <laughs> Aren't people from Arizona supposed to be like really tan? That's why they kicked me out. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, what? Oh boy. Oh. Oh, she likes him and she thinks he likes her. Yeah, I saw that immediately. Who are they? Yeah. The Collins. Dr. and Mrs. Collins foster kids. That's Rosalie, the big dark haired guy Emmett. We're like a thing. Dark haired girls, Alice, really weird. Jasper, the blonde one who looks like he's in pain. <laughs> he does look like he's in pain. Oh my goodness. Who's he? Ah, there he is. That's Edward Cohen. Totally gorgeous. Don't waste your time. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. Hey, yo, he already staring. Oh, <laughs> whoa. In disgust? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Hi. Yes? I would lose it if someone reacted like that when I came in the room. <laughs> I'd just be like, I'm going now. Do I smell that bad? <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, buddy. You okay? What was that all about? I'm afraid you'll have to stay in biology. I just have to endure it. Endure it. <laughs> Is this like a vampire thing? Or like, I, I don't understand. I'm so confused. Because I know that they're supposed to be vampires. That much I know. Oh, is this the bit? <laughs> yeah, the way she... Oh, that's great. Are there any cute guys? Are they being nice to you? There is one, but he thinks I smell terrible. Mm -hmm. Eh. <laughs> Look how pale he is. I mean, the filter on this movie doesn't help. And the man to know what his problem was. But he never showed. Yikes, so he just doesn't turn up now? Because of her? 
Oh, I see. Is she kind of isolating herself from everybody? Uh. Uh-oh. What's with all the Dutch angles? Hey! Oh, shoot. Are people hearing about deaths around the place? Oh, careful! <laughs> well, probably be late for dinner. Security guard at the Grisham Mill got killed by some kind of animal. Mm-hmm. There you go. I was wondering, did you have a, a, a date? Hey, yeah, this guy has been crushing on her the second he saw her. Ah, oh, he's back! Round two. Oh, is she gonna, is she gonna have a talk with him? Hello. Ah! I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to introduce myself. I'm Edward Cullen. I'm in Hufflepuff. <laughs> and the first partners I get it right are gonna win the Golden Onion. I was out of town for a couple of days. Uh, pro face. Do you mind if I, uh, look? There's so much tension and it's awkward. I don't really like the rain. Any cold, wet thing, I don't really... Or the shuddering. <laughs> She's not bad. It's uh, Anna face. You mind if I check? I'm just assuming her character's just super awkward, you know? Anna face. Like I said. <laughs> Yeah, wow, the eyes. Oh, jeez. Bella! <laughs> Whoa! My mom stayed home with me, but I knew it made her happy, so... She got the golden onion! You're very difficult for me to read. Your eyes were black the last time I saw you. Golden brown. Yeah, I know. It's the, uh, it's the fluorescence. Uh... Whoa! Apparently that was too much, that question. I am going to guess that that was a vampire-related question she was asking. And... Damn, dude. The way he watches her is like she's prey or something. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> no. Bro. He's a superhero. Did no one else see that? You're kidding me. <laughs> All this attention she's getting now. You and I are going to talk. Ah. I try to stop. That's not the problem, bro. You're going too fast to the parking lot. Isabella. Oh. Bella. Is that the doctor they talked about earlier? No signs of any head trauma. I'm so sorry, Bella. I'm really... <laughs> you know, it would have been a whole lot worse if Edward wasn't there. I mean, he got to me so fast, he was nowhere near me. Hmm. Sounds like you were very lucky. Ooh. This is getting interesting. I've let her die. This isn't just about you. It's about all of us. You should have let her die. Oh, okay. You hit your head. I think you're confused. You stopped the van. Well, nobody's gonna believe you. Hey, yo. I wasn't gonna tell anybody. You're not gonna let this go, are you? No. Nope. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy disappointment. As if you would let something like that go. If I met a superhuman like that, I'd be no way. Like, hey. Is that in her head or was he actually there? That was the first night I dreamt of Edward Cullen. That didn't feel like a dream. That felt like a hallucination. Go to, go to prom. prom. <laughs> what the heck? You should ask Jessica. I know she wants to go with you. Yes. Oh, what do it. It's Anna Kendrick. She's cute. Go with her. <laughs> Are you going to tell me how you stopped the van? I had an adrenaline rush. <laughs> so many people like her, but she just doesn't notice them. I think I regret saving you. I can see that you do. Hi. Are you going to be riding with us? Oh, man. They always get interrupted. Phil sounds like an all right guy. Yeah, he is. <sighs> all right. For real, I'm still trying to figure out what's happening in some of these scenes. I'm like, what just happened? Edible art. Oh, that was smooth. You know, your mood swings are kind of giving me a whiplash. <laughs> For real. If you were smart, you'd stay away from me. Hmm. Keep thinking that Eric's gonna ask me to the prom. You should ask him. Take control. You're a strong, independent woman. I am. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bella. Ah, I can't get over his hair. You guys should keep Bella company. Um, her date failed. What date? She invited Edward. Collins don't come here. Collins don't come here. Like an old scary story. Did you know Kuliuts are supposedly descended from wolves? Supposedly descended from this like enemy clan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at the clothes! Oh, okay, so it's like a territorial sort of thing. Okay. What are they really? <laughs> it's just a story, Bella. Come on, let's go. Well, obviously it's significant since 
It's the reason why Edward didn't turn up, right? It's not just a story then. Oh, you're in trouble, buddy. Yeah. Uh... Oh, dang it. Who are you? What do you want? James, let's not play with our food. Gosh. Okay, so it's not the Collins that are doing the killing. It's someone else. Okay. I kind of wish I could avoid all pop culture and just not know that they were vampires from the start. That'd be kind of cool. But, oh well. I still, I'm still pretty in the dark with a lot of it. I'm going to the prom with Eric. I just asked him, I took control. Woohoo! Well done. I liked that Dusty Rose one. Okay, I like this one. It makes my boobs look good. <laughs> Dog's great. He said that about like the last five dresses though. She's right though, this looks awesome. <laughs> Her character's so quirky, I love it. Gosh, no. Run back to the bookstore. Oh, there she is. Are you oh. kidding me? Are you gonna go? Where are you going? Is this real? You guys are just gonna... Don't touch me. Oh! oh, damn. Ooh. He gonna use his powers. How about something else? Distract me so I won't turn around. You should put your seatbelt on. <laughs> it's so dramatic, isn't it? We waited, but we were, like, starving. Uh, I'm sorry I kept Bella from dinner. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're so charmed. So we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say, I love the fairy lights everywhere. I love that look. So, are you sure there isn't anything I can get for you? No, no, thank you. Oh, go away. He's taken, clearly. You're really not gonna eat? No, I'm on a special diet. <laughs> How did you know where I was? I didn't. Stop lying, mate. What? She's not thank stupid. You. I feel very protective of you. The look. I can read every mind in this room. Money, sex, cat. <laughs> He's the only one who was actually happy there. I don't have the strength to stay away from you anymore. Oh, buddy. I don't. <gasps> Whoa, Bella. Damn, all right. His face. Ooh. Oh, he's freezing, is he? Your hand is so cold. Yep, cold it. Wayland Forges found the boat out near his place. Just examined the body. He died? Animal attack. Hmm. <laughs> you should go inside. Wayland was your father's friend. Well, he just sent her in just so he could talk to Edward about what actually happened? Is that why? I've known him going on 30 years. Give that man a hug. I want you to carry this with you. It'll give your old man some peace of mind. I wonder if this guy's ever going to get closure for some of these deaths, hey. Oh, is she putting it together right now? Is this the book she borrowed? Oh, that's terrifying. All of these horrible depictions of what she's reading about, and then you have Edward. <laughs> I can totally see how this is appealing to a lot of people. <laughs> the, the idea of what's happening here. You're dating a monster. <laughs> I tell you what, Edward is so lucky that he's attractive. Otherwise, a lot of his behavior would be so creepy. <laughs> I can't stay away from you any longer. <laughs> how old are you? 17. No. How long have you been 17? A while. How long? This is so intense. I know what you are. Say it. <laughs> Say it. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. No. <laughs> There's so much tension in this scene. It's so weird, but also really romantic at the same time. <laughs> ah, what? Wait. There's no... <laughs> Bro. They couldn't even do like a flash sort of animation. They had to have him like, no. People would know we're different. Yeah, doesn't it hurt? This is what I am. It doesn't hurt? It's like diamonds. You just sparkle. You're beautiful. There we go. Beautiful. He's got that monster riz. I'm a killer. I don't believe that. She loves chasing red flags, mate. <laughs> as if you could outrun me. As if you could fight me off. 
I don't think you realize, mate. She's obsessed with you. <laughs> I've killed people before. It does not matter. It doesn't matter? I trust you. Don't. I'm here. <laughs> we only hunt animals. We learn to control our thirst. Your scent is like a drug to me. Oh. I like my own personal brand of heroin. <laughs> I'm sure that's romantic to some people. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> the way they're talking! I still don't know if I can control myself. I can't read your mind. You have to tell me what you're thinking. Whoa, buddy! I'm not afraid of you. I'm only afraid of losing you. What? I, I guess you're stuck with her now, mate. <laughs> this girl ain't gonna leave. <laughs> so the lion fell in love with the lamb. What a stupid lamb. You sick, masochistic lion. Well, nah, I'm just laughing because I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I bet so many people wish they had what these guys have. <laughs> so how's this gonna work? Because he he likes her blood still, right? Oh, that's cute. It's a weird tone they've captured here. It feels romantic, but it also feels really wrong. They've managed to do it really well. Hmm. Gotta hand it to Bella. When she finds what she wants, she goes after it far out. About three things I was absolutely positive. Edward was a vampire. There was a part of him that thirsted for my blood. That is a very good point. I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. Whoa. Those are big words. <laughs> I wonder how that would happen so quickly though, you know? It was only a, f a week, right? My God. Yeah, here we go. They're together now. You know, everybody's staring. Not that guy. No, he just looked. He knows what they're thinking too. So how long have you been like this? 1918. That's when Carlisle found me. Oh shoot! The venom was excruciating. But what Carlisle did was much harder. Human blood a sort of frenzy begins. Okay. I don't want to be a monster. Think of ourselves as vegetarians. I guess you would be, yeah. It's like a human only living on tofu. You're never fully satisfied. It wouldn't be like drinking your blood, for instance. <laughs> Ooh, don't tell her that. Alice can see the future. Alice's visions are subjective. Oh. I mean, the future can always change. Love that. She can tell the future, but the future can change, so you don't really know if it's true. It's like, that's odd. What's the success rate there? Oh. Okay, okay. Some bad blood there. Far out. Jake appears. Keeps bugging me about seeing you again. Ah. Uh. Every guy in this place is crushing on Bella. This is very interesting, by the way. I'm really enjoying this. Outside of some really corny moments that are, I personally have just found really funny, it's a good movie. This is incredible. Did you expect coffins and dungeons and moats? Yeah, I guess they'd have a lot of money, wouldn't they? If anything, mm -hmm. I'm surprised they don't have their own like empire, you know? Is she even Italian? Her name is Bella. Here comes the human. Bella, we're making Italiano for you. She already ate. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Perfect. They cooked all of his food for her. Because I know you. I know that you guys don't eat, so of course. Let's just keep pretending like this isn't dangerous for all of us. Ooh. The entire family will be implicated if this ends badly. I would become the meal. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> She's like naturally funny at the most random times. I'm Alice. Um, <laughs> she was supposed to be the weird one, right? You do smell good. What are you? It's okay. Bella and I are going to be great friends. <laughs> That's a good sign. Jasper's our newest vegetarian. It's a little difficult for her. You won't hurt her. All right. Uh, I'm going to take you on. This is here. so strange. Everyone wants to eat her. <laughs> I think that went well. Clean this up. Oh, that's adorable how they're all trying to be good for her. I love that. That's so encouraging, isn't it? it when you're nervous to meet a family, but everyone else is nervous to meet you. Graduation caps? We matriculate a lot. Wait, so what's the point of starting to high school again? It's like a good cover or something? No bed? Uh, no, I, I don't... I don't sleep. Oh! Mm -hmm. No, not at all. How does that work? I love the idea of never sleeping because you get to be more productive, but mate, it feels good to have a sleep when you need it, right? Claire de Lune. Claire de Lune is great. Mm, I learned how to play that several years ago. It's a beautiful piece. Aww. Close the door. <laughs> Someone's going to interrupt, I know it. 
<laughs> what? I can't dance. Oh, you don't have to lead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> Spider monkey. <laughs> The idea of doing all this stuff sounds so cool. It just, the way they've done it just looks a little funny, but that's okay. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> this isn't real. I'm assuming it doesn't look this cold there and the blue filter is just making it seem more miserable. Does he know how to play it too? Oh, he's playing the soundtrack for the score. That's awesome, dude. I want to learn this piece just for the memes. <laughs> like, just walk into a room full of people with a piano there and just start playing this. <laughs> you, you and Colin, huh? That's... I don't like it. <laughs> Excuse me? Just looks at you like you're something to eat. She's like, maybe I like that. Jeez. Did all find a guy that looks at you like he wants to eat you. <laughs> yeah, we found a bare human footprint. Headed east, so Kitsap County Sheriff's gonna take over from here. Looks like the Newton boy's got a big smile for you. Yeah, he's a good buddy. Yeah, she's friend zoning the other guy. You should be around people. I don't really mind being alone. I guess I'm kind of like my dad in that way. I guess that's some consolation, yeah. She's hanging around people. Well, kind of people. Forks is growing on me. <gasps> Could a mm -hmm. guy have anything to do with that? 100%. <laughs> oh, yeah. <gasps> what is your job? Indie? Smart. Oh! <laughs> He's here. <laughs> oh, I just want to try one thing. Just stay very still. Ooh. Yeah, because he might rip her face off if he kisses her. You're going too fast, mate. <laughs> All good? Bloodthirsty now? Ooh, I'm curious. What's this guy like controlling his strength? Stop it! I'm stronger than I thought. I can't ever lose control with you. Oh, dang it, man. Hey, don't go. So if he allows himself to get aggressive while having a good time, he could kill her, is that right? That must suck the entire time you have to really control yourself. That's not a deal breaker though. And hey, look at this, they're just chatting. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, Bella might fall asleep on him, you know, wake up eight hours later and the guys just sat there for eight hours awake. I have a date with Edward Cullen. I thought you liked the Cullens. Oh boy. He's right outside. Yeah, he wanted to meet you. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna hit it off. Bring him in. <laughs> yeah, now's the time. <laughs> Come on. I wanted to formally introduce myself. I'm Edward Cullen. Bella won't be out too late tonight. She's just gonna play baseball. Baseball? <laughs> baseball? Good luck with that. I'll take good care of her, I promise. Still got that pepper spray? <laughs> Really protective father. It's good. There's a thunderstorm coming. It's the only time we can play. A thunderstorm is the only time you can play? How do you play baseball with such little amounts of people? I guess they are fast, right? So you could field by yourself. Okay, now I see why you need the thunder. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's gotta be a home run, right? Edward's very fast. <laughs> this would be epic. Out. Ow. Dang. This is such an intriguing scene. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, Stop. The way they just look like they're floating. I'm afraid your hunting activities have was something of a mess for us. We didn't realize the territory had been claimed. Oh, this is so sketch. Oh gosh, this guy seems psycho. Oh, the wind! The wind! You brought a snack. Oh, you. Oh my gosh. The... I can see the game is over. We'll go now. Yeah, don't pick a fight with a whole family of vampires. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. I'm all right. She's so. Whoa. She has a scary yelling voice. My reaction to feel set him off. I just made this his most exciting game ever. Oh. We have to kill him. Rip him apart and burn the pieces. Damn. So you can't go home. He's just gonna trace your scent there. It's over. Get up. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, damn. I'm leaving now. 
Oh. This is smart. This is smart. Wait, so she has to leave for a while, but make an excuse for it? I don't want this. I have to go home. Come home. Oh, he's already here. Still feel like going in the morning. I'll take you to the airport. Bella, I know I'm not that much fun to be around. Oh. We can do more stuff together. Like what? Oh, this is so like, hard. Like, watch baseball on the flat screen? Dad, that's you. That's not me. Aww. Bella, come on. I just I just got you back. <sighs> Dude. Dan, you know, if I don't get out now, then I'm just gonna be stuck here like mom. Couldn't have just said you'll come back or something, you know? Like, I have to leave for a while. Anything other than that. That was harsh. I told him the same thing that my mom told him when she was leaving him. It's the only way he let you go. No. Oh, she has to leave all her friends too. I mean, to me, it seems like she hasn't really hung around with them that much. <laughs> Your unparalleled sense is absolutely lethal. I've never Ooh. seen anything like him in my 300 years. Okay, so they're actually a bit more capable than them. I'll go with Bella. Jasper and I will drive her south. If anything happens, I swear to God. Nothing's gonna happen. Bella, you are my life now. You may as well get married far out. It's good. <laughs> It's so interesting to see these actors portraying, like, actual predators. Oh, Vision. He's figured it out. He just changed course. A room full of mirrors. The course that the tracker's on now is gonna lead him to a ballet studio. He took lessons as a kid. Oh, oh that was lucky. Hey, Mom, I'm glad you got my message. Mom, are you there? High school doesn't protect its students' privacy very well. No. Don't touch her. Don't. Just, you can still don't. save her, but you're gonna have to get away from your friend. How about your old ballet studio? Oh, there we go. I oh, hope this works out, because so far this doesn't seem like a good idea. I'd never given much thought to how I would die, but dying in the place of someone I love seems like a good way to go. Oh, there we go. Instead of her mum, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be like a boyfriend or something. I can't bring myself to regret the decisions that brought me face to face with death. They also brought me to Edward. Yeah, she's had a pretty hectic last couple of weeks. Far out. It's probably been longer though, right? Uh. Oh, that's sadistic. Yikes. You're a stubborn child, were you? I make a little film of our time together. Yes. Yes, stall. I hope you don't mind. Action. I love this when the villain does stuff like this. Gives enough time for someone to help. Did it work? Oh, yo. He was floating. Oh, God. Too bad he didn't have the strength to turn you. But he kept you this fragile little human. Oh, gosh. Turn! Come on, Edward. Come on, mate. You're alone. Cause you're faster than the others. It's strong enough to kill you. Come on, Edward. Come on. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, oh shoot. Wait, is she gonna become a vampire? Oh gosh. Remember who you are. Oh. Carlisle? Yeah, the frenzy, man. Oh, <laughs> what? Damn! Snapped his neck. It's gonna happen, Edward. I've seen it. It doesn't have to be that way. Try to suck the venom out. No, I won't be able to stop. Find the wheel. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make you go away. Jeez. Uh. Is this gonna work? Okay, he needs to stop. You're killing her. Edward? Edward? She's going cross-eyed, bro. Come on, buddy. Death is peaceful. Easy. Life is harder. <laughs> right. Should have seen it was going that way. Okay, so he stopped. He must have stopped. And he fell down two flights of stairs. Mm. Went through a window. Most dramatic injury ever. I want to live in Forks. We'll, we'll talk about it. Now, there's there's a few more movies, aren't there? He's got to find out at some point, right? Well, you got to go to Jacksonville, so I can't hurt you anymore. No! You did the hardest part, mm -hmm. bro. Are you... S no! No! Yeah, you tell him. How... 
I don't even know what you're saying. How? What are you? What are you talking about? I can't, I can't just leave you. I we can't be apart. I'm you here. can't leave me. I'm here. Damn. Okay, just don't. You just can't say stuff like that to me. Oof. Yeah, no, right. She's endured so much already. It's like, bro, don't leave me now. <laughs> ah, nice suit. Prom. <laughs> nice boot. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take care of it. The dad's gonna throw up. You look beautiful. Thanks. He's sweet. I like her dad. He seems super chill, but always putting her first. My dad paid me to come talk to you. He wants you to break up with your boyfriend. We'll be watching you. That's so odd. Oh. Guess I'll see you around, Bella. Mate, they all stare at each other like that. This is even Edwards is like, bro, chill. I leave you alone for two minutes and the wolves descend. <laughs> you wanna go? Yeah. It's nice that all the guys that were crushing on her ended up with other girls. Oh yeah, he wouldn't even struggle at all doing that. I don't care what kind of person you are, that would be nice. I could be like you right now. You don't want this. I want you. Always. Well. I'm not gonna end your life for you. Alice said that she saw me like you. I dream about being with you forever. It's so romantic, but... <sighs> You're ready right now. Here? Will he? Won't he? Is it not enough to have a long and happy life with me? For now. Might be safe enough just to wait a couple years at least, you know? You never know, right? You're in the honeymoon phase. Oh, that's awesome. I love the festoons. I know what I want. Ooh. Who dis? Oh, shoot. Oh, does she want revenge? Oh, boy. A red-headed vampire. That can't be good. Oi, despite what who this movie was intended for, <laughs> the target demographic, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> had a good time. I, I I, found it actually strange how much I enjoyed it. I think I found it very entertaining for different reasons though. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a lot of people enjoyed it for the same reasons I did. I thought the plot was like interesting enough and the ideas were like really intriguing. But I, I just thought that so much, so many moments of it were so cheesy and corny. It felt like half the time I was watching a comedy, but the other half of the time was like a drama. Uh, I can see why it's appealing though. I don't know what it is. It's something about um, a person who has the capacity to kill you, but they choose not to is like somehow really attractive. I don't know what it is. It's uh, yeah, it's just an interesting psychological Thing. I don't know where it comes from. I mean, it's so hilarious to me, the idea of Bella going to this new town, meeting this guy she's barely known, and she's prepared to spend eternity with him. Uh, it's very romantic. You have to admit, it's very romantic, but I'm just like screaming like, maybe just hang out for a year first, maybe, and then, then see if you want to get bitten. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you guys in the comments just say how different the movies are to um, the books, or at least just this one, just because I'm very interested to see if they changed much about it. I think that their relationship dynamic is obviously, there's a lot of sexual tension, right? I feel like a lot of their relationship feels like two people that are just obsessed with each other. That's kind of what it feels like to me uh, at, the, at the moment. So I'm very keen to see whether their relationship develops and you get to see them just being themselves a lot more. Uh, because a lot of this movie was focused on the conflict between her and uh, dating a vampire. A, a lot of the focus was just on whether uh, she would be with him or not. I feel like they're setting up a lot of things though. You've got the the uh, group of guys who were who introduced her to the town. You've got, I think it was Jacob, right? Yeah, you've got his whole family. I'm interested to see where that goes, the whole territorial thing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, her friends are kind of fun. I didn't realize a Anna Kendrick was in this. That was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> I absolutely love her dad, though, by the way. He's so cool. I just, I love that he is shy, but he's also very straightforward with how he feels about her. He's very like, no, like, I, I love you and I'll protect you. Don't go. Like, he's very upfront, which, um, is, I think is exactly what Bella needed.
I also love how welcoming the vampire family was. Uh, they were just very accommodating and they tried to involve her as quickly as possible. It was very sweet. I liked it. Based on just what you guys say in the comments and just how well the video does, I might watch the rest of them. We'll see. Just leaving it open just for now on. Let me know what you think. I'll probably watch The Last Samurai next or uh, the King uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. So yeah. Anyway, look forward to those. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.